All right, so let's do a quick highlight, guys. All right, guys, here of none here, talking a little bit about Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and the Unreal 4 engine, which seems to crash on my PC a bit. Um, you may be having the same issue I have. I'm running an older processor right now myself, and it seems to crash every loading screen or every long playing session that I play. Um, of course, the fix is probably going to have to be something like get a better processor or something else like that. But there is ways you can fix and work around the older processors that seems to have an issue with Unreal 4. Uh, for our sake, I went in and I reduced the power settings through Windows uh, to complete this. Here, we can take a look here real quick. Do, 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 do. All right, here. So, just to show where we go to get the settings here. Go to right-click, Power Options, and you're going to get uh, this screen here. Go to Additional Power Options. Then go to wherever your plan setting is you're currently selected to, and then Change Plan Settings, then Advanced, and it's going to bring up this Power Options menu here. For this Power Options menu, uh, go down to Processor Power Management, and under Minimum and your Maximum Processing State here, Change your settings down to either 95%, 90%, whatever kind of works for you. I currently set mine down for 95% and I've had a kind of a long good playing session here where it would typically crash like every 15, 20 minutes or maybe five minutes on a loading screen. Now it takes about a good 45 to an hour to crash here as well. I could lower this down even more, but you know, it it's kind of is what it is. I do hope that player unknown kind of works around or tries to fix this. Again, it seems to be that the when you play anything with an Unreal 4 engine um, on an older processor, it takes up more CPU than that's there, and then it just crashes the system. Just automatic reboot. Not even a blue screen at that point. Um, it's annoying. And you kind of really you kind of really got to get a better processor to deal with the issue, but at least this way you can underclock it a little bit, get a little bit more bang for your buck uh, from that until you can get a new one. Uh, make sure as well that you have your C your CPU properly cooled. Uh, that way it's not overheating and crashing on you too. Anyways, here I'm done here. That's the tip for the week. Have a good night, man, guys. Meow, meow, meow. All right.